This is Sean with Shasta. I'm going to show you the manual stabilizer jacks on your travel trailer. Um, so the manual stabilizer jacks, you're going to find four jacks on each corner of the trailer. The purpose of the stabilizer jacks are to help stabilize the unit. These jacks are not going to be designed to level the unit. They are only going to be there to stabilize. So after you get your uh, camper leveled out front to back and you've used blocks for the wheels, um, at that point, when you get the camper where you want it to be to camp in, you can then crank the jacks down to stabilize the unit so it's not shaking when you're inside the unit. Okay, and to do that, you're going to um, just connect either the manual crank or you can use a drill with a drill bit on the end um, to uh, lower the jacks. And all you do is crank the jacks down till they're to the ground. As you uh, lower the jack to the ground, um, it is recommended typically to use like a block of wood to put under uh, the jack so that you don't run the jacks into soft ground. Um, and that also will help stabilize uh, the platform for the jacks. Um, as you get to the ground, um, uh, when you contact everything, you'll wanna go ahead and go till the jack is firm. And then once it gets firm, you wanna just cinch it up a little bit extra. Again, these jacks are not designed to um, hold the weight of the trailer. They're gonna be more designed to, again, just stabilize the unit so it's not shaking when you're in and out of the camper. Um, this is the electric stabilizer jack option on our trailer. And the way that it works is it's gonna be the same idea. Again, this is not to um, actually level the unit. This, again, is just to stabilize the unit only. Um, and the way that these are gonna work is you're just gonna have a push button and as you push the button, you're gonna notice that uh, the, either the two rear jacks are gonna move together or the two front jacks will run together when you do this. And what you'll wanna do is you'll wanna run the jacks to the ground. And after that, again, when you get to the ground and contact the ground, or when you contact your block of wood for help to uh, help stabilize it, you'll wanna go just a little bit extra and you can you know, watch the unit maybe lift just a little bit so that you, again, have a good secure hold uh, for the unit. Um, thank you for watching this video. Um, again, my name is Sean with Shasta, and please visit us at ShastaRVing.com.